Let's see. Hello, everybody. Hopefully, y'all can hear me and see me pretty well. My uh, Brock and friends, welcome. Um, thank y'all for the the stream. Got me, got me not wanting to play DDO. Now I just want to go watch old concert videos. <laughs> After all that, I'll tell you, it's got me keyed up. I want to go just listen to a bunch of good old classic rock and roll music. That would be awesome. But we're going to play a little bit of DDO. So welcome, everybody. Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Fridays on Ice, episode 192, here on twitch.tv slash DDO stream. My name is Bach Lagore, your host. Please follow me on my own Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Bach Lagore, where once in a great moon, I do stream. It's not often, but it's there. Appreciate everybody joining me tonight. I am going to continue with Salt Marsh. I have two, I believe, quests left with Salt Marsh um, on my level five artificer. He is Chucklesan Long Fighter. And uh, we're going to give him a swing and see where things land tonight. Um, I may not do both of these because this last one with Gellin is very, very long and very difficult to do solo. And because I stream a little bit later, the couple of guys that used to run with me, I don't think they're, well, I know one of them, um, he's heading to sleep because he gets up early for work. The other one is probably not going to be on much longer either. So I may leave this one for a long, slow trudge next Friday, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, I am in the middle of hurricane country here, so we're getting ready for this. Hurricane Ida that's coming. Um, don't know exactly where she's going to land, but where I'm located, we're kind of directly in the path. So uh, I originally wasn't going to stream tonight, but I decided to go ahead and do so since we might be out of commission for a few days after the storm. You never know how these things will land and work out. So you just don't know. We've had storms come through and we didn't lose power or anything. Uh, big storms, and we've had small storms come through, and we've lost power. So you just never know how things are going to work out. All righty. Well, we're going to go. Um, I've already talked to Etta Olins, and I'm going to go over here to Ellender Fireborn. We're going to see what she has to say. This town has always lived in peace with the Dunwater tribe of lizard folk. Now it looks like that peace is about to end. First, the lizard folk move closer to town. Now we learn they're buying a massive amount of weapons. We're going to drift into war if no one does anything about it. Well, I say we should at least try to stop this war before it starts. Are you with me, Chuckle-san? I'm with you. What do you have in mind? Go to the lizard folk lair in the salt marsh. Find out who's in charge of the Dunwater lizard folk. See whether you can make a deal with them. It's important that we know what's going on here before we declare a war against an army of foes that's, that are pure muscle and have mouths full of pointy teeth. I'll go to the lizard folk lair and see if I can negotiate with them. We'll see what we can do. I am not making any promises because you just never know. How's everybody doing tonight? What y'all up to? I'm quite sure the usual same old, same old stuff. Hopefully none of you are in the path of this upcoming storm. I'm hoping none of you are. Because it won't be fun. All right, let's see if we can hunt down the, the lizard folk lair. Yeah, Brock, y'all y'all really have me uh wanting to watch some videos. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh yeah. Those aren't fun. You really can't escape from either one. One drowns you, the other one burns you. There's not much of a you know, there's a difference in the amount of heat, I guess, but Jesus. The outcome's the same. They both suck. Yeah, I'm 
as I get older and older and older, I like losing power less and less and less. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. Look at the heat from that sun. Tell me that's not hot. Lord, look at that. That's some heat right now. Red name. Gotta get him. Gotta get him. Pardon me while I kill the red name. Jesus, everybody and their grandmother coming after me? What the hell? I know that crocodile's still down there. Where'd he go? I didn't kill that crocodile. Where'd he go? Sure didn't think I killed him. Danger at Dunwater. All right, I'm going to try Elite, but y'all may hear me cry like a baby. Okay, why is this? Why? What the hell? What the hell? Why is my camera doing this? What, what's going on? Okay, that's better. Oh, I'm too big. Not the first time I heard that. All right. Well met, outsider. The queen of my tribe wishes to parley with you. But she cannot leave her throne room due to the rebellion. Oh man, is this the long one? Did I pick the wrong one? Uh, you come at a difficult time, soft skin. Our tribe is in the midst of a revolt. Rebels have been taken up arms against our queen. The queen herself remains confined in her throne room to avoid unnecessary conflict. Please go and speak with her. She seeks help against a greater threat that menaces, menaces us all. Will I be attacked by these rebels? Likely. I don't see the rebels just allowing an outsider to walk in here and speak with the queen. Do what you must, but find the queen. Oh, whatever. Open the gate, and I'll go see what I can do. I'm unable to open this gate. It's protected by a magical rune placed by the high shaman himself. The guards are sure to take notice of us talking very soon. I hear one approaching from the other door. Be ready. The lizard folk queen and my name is Ready Fred in her throne room. Yet to get there. Yeah, y'all all dead. I ain't worried. Just kill. Just kill. Oh, please don't kill me. Let's not kill me. Don't kill the Warforge. Am I even a Warforge? I might be a half orc. I don't know what the hell this guy is. What am I? Yep, I'm a Warforge. We're good. Nope, let's not go out that way. Let's try this way. This might be the right way. How about that? There we go. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sorry for singeing you there, Hireling. I really think I, I picked the, the second to last one. I mean, the last one instead of the second to last one. If I if I'm thinking correctly, this is the extra long one that I really didn't want to run tonight. That elf would be, I, I might rage quit. I might rage quit. What they're referring to is the last time we ran this, when you talk to the sea elves at the end of the quest, they, um, there's one of them that um, glitched and it kept following us around and attacking us and it would take hit points, but we couldn't attack it anymore. And that son of a gun followed us everywhere on everywhere in this dungeon everywhere we went toward the end of the quest that stupid sea elf was following us around it was a really really bad glitch so if it happens tonight at least we will have it on you know on on video and they can hopefully go fix that but yeah we were and if i remember right i was not the one doing the most whining that night either was i <laughs> Nope, I don't think I was. Somebody else in the pate was doing some whining. Oh my goodness. I don't really don't have a lot of hit points to be going in here, busting the gut. Oh, look at the queen. We both face a threat that could destroy us all. I apologize for the rough reception you received from the rebels. Ignorant as hatchlings, every one of them. Those that attacked me have paid with their lives. Now, can you tell me why you've, inv you've invaded this territory? The town of Saltmarsh feels threatened by your encroachment. The loss of life is regrettable, but what's done is done. Rebels deserve their fate. As for the soft-skinned village, it was never my intention to give them any trouble. Our tribe was forced closer to the town after the Sawagan invaded and seized our home. Now, things have grown even more complicated. Just as I was working on a plan to retaliate against the Sawagan, my own high shaman has foreman has fomented a rebellion against me. He's made me a prisoner in my own throne room. We are at a stalemate. None of the rebels are willing to try to strike me down. And I would prefer not to incur the onus of killing my own tribe folk. So here I remain, my tribe in chaos and about to fall to the spogging. But don't pity me, outsider. Instead, learn a lesson. For the Sohagen will be coming for your own kind soon enough. Soon your precious village will be in ruins as well. How about I help you get rid of your rebel problem, and in return, you leave Saltmarsh alone, and together we'll deal with the Sohagen. Ah, uh, yes. As much as I loathe to do it, having an outsider deal with the rebels may be for the best. You can put an end to this rebellion by defeating High Shaman Keithan. Why did it have to be Keithan? He and his location, he and his faction, have tricked many of the younger warriors into believing that we would not survive the conflict with the Sawagan, even with an alliance. But I get ahead of myself. 
first, Keithan must die. Really? You gotta kill him? He got, he got a cool name, you gotta kill him. Travel through the passageway behind me to get into the western caverns. You'll likely find Keithan inside this temple. Inside the temple. Kill him and return to me. I will defeat the high shaman at the end of the rebellion. And end the rebellion. Then we'll talk about taking on the Suaga. You agreed to help her defeat High Shaman Kethan, the leader of the rebels. That ain't Kethan, that's Keithan. No, I could have done the lizard voice. I chose not to. Strange the voice. <clears throat> I did it before. But I've been having <laughs> some, uh, Coughing problems. It's just that little bit's got it irritated. I need a little rum to wash that down. Ow. Rum is so good. Come on. Leave my hireling alone. She's got to keep me alive. She ain't got time to play tiddlywinks with you. Afraid of the eggs, but those rebels thought twice about breaking it. Yeah, you see that's very uh I can't I can't keep up with that today. All right, washed off my equipment. There we go. That's the only bath I'm gonna take this month. This is the queen's royal hatchery, where eggs are safely locked away from the rebels. Oh, and all we need, no damn lizards crawling around. You son of a gun! Hmm. Ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be on Elite. Go sell and repair real quick. Cool, look at all that damaged equipment. Lord. Oh. All right, here I come. 
Let's see what we can do. We are definitely not going back in on Elite. If I had help, I would I would go back in on it. But uh, and I'm running so low in story mode. This is gonna be normal. I'm not gonna reread all that just yet. The lizard folk queen wishes to speak with you in her throne. Get there, you'll need to make your way past the All right. Well, there aren't nearly as many mobs now. You funny. You better go to bed and get some sleep. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. I 
I am not the Zerg. Okay, that ah, so we head in the wrong direction. We need to go back. Cause her throne rooms over. Well, Trill, at least you can count your own sheep. That's a good thing. We both face a threat that could destroy us all. The lizard folk queen swears that she means no harm to the nearby village, but she faces a growing rebellion within her tribe. You agree to help her defeat Kai Shaman Heffin, the leader of the rebels. This is about where I died, wasn't it? Oh, well, I didn't drink the potion. Been doing that lately. I didn't want to drink the potion. This is the queen's royal hatchway. Her eggs are safely locked away from the rebels. Hall. A group of lizard folk warriors are practicing their combat. <laughs> If I start coughing, I'm gonna have to cut this short. And it won't be because I die and rage quit either. <laughs> so it's everybody run tonight. Besides the um, plight of the dragon sheep.
must be one of the outsiders that Oaken Ophakent has recruited. We had spoken at great length about methods of dealing with our current situation. This method seems to be the best choice. But to be sure you're capable, I wish to test you first. Venture back into my room and speak the phrase, knowledge is power, and complete the trial that I have built by recovering the tome. Prove to me you can both use both wisdom and intelligence to overcome this trial. A trial to prove myself? Hmm. Wisdom? Nope. Intelligence? Nope. Yep, I'm going to suck. Minister Sarid advises you to complete the trial of knowledge he has set up inside his chambers. I don't know where his chamber's at. I don't know why I took that crap. I ain't gonna finish. I certainly don't know. I have not paid attention to any of the DDO news this Shaman Kethan is beyond the gateway, chanting some sort of incantation, but the door into the temple is sealed with a pair of traps. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see what started yesterday. 20% off of Astral Shards, Guild Renowned Extras, 50% off of Guild Characters and Guild Airship Beacons through September 2nd. And the weekly coupon is for a Sentience Toolkit. Code is EXTRACTOR. All caps, EXTRACTOR. And that appears to be all they have listed. The sale started yesterday, True. I'll, um, come on, kill him. Here you go, bud. Just in case uh, anybody needs it. Pile of bones. Hmm. 
Robo. Listen to some rush. Brock and them got something started. I'm gonna end up staying up half the night just watching old concert footage. You didn't get that one, TV. A plus three Warriors one outfit of acid resistant five. Resistance five. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Dozens of lizard folk eggs rest beyond the sea, safely locked away from harm. <clears throat> PD didn't get it. PD didn't get it. The pseudo dragon tells you about a treasury behind the locked gate, which only the high shaman has access to. Sounds ripe for a bit of adventuring. The pseudo dragon reaches out to your mind. The high shaman was here, said, Don't open the gate for anyone but him, said the treasury was too important. What should we do about it then? I crawl between the bars, I open the door. That sounds great. Do that. I don't really not yet. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh shoot. And the floor nearby collapsed. I guess just the one pile. Go back and uh, run through the uh, prisoners' shed. I think that's where the other um, crest is going to be. If I remember correctly. Hey, Rilona, y'all doing your um, Friday night run with Doug?
I can remember a time when someone once said they wouldn't stream against a fellow streamer. I remember those days. Apparently them days is behind us. <laughs> Never bothered me one way or the other, but I remember someone being rather upset. Oh, I can't get in there. Shoot. Man. I think that uh, other crest is somewhere around here. Don't fully remember. Very deep in the bowl of soup on the steeple is an iron key. See if I can get that. All right. No, I thought. Well, there's two. My bad. Okay, there you go. Now we got it. Take some room some of these gems get rid of all of them no I'm not gonna throw the remnants out don't worry okay good enough for now We'll go back up to the prison in a minute. Interesting. Let's go here. Check out. Don't need the shrine. Hmm, did I open all of them?
so tall it throws the camera angles off for me. My character's tall because he's a warforged. Oh, I guess that was it. Hmm. Ah, that's where I have to go for the crest. Ah, be quiet. I'm hunting rabbit, the rabbit. I'm hunting the rabbit. It must be very quiet. You dealt with the High Shaman? Yes, the High Shaman is dead, as are many of his closest allies. Though I take no pleasure in this news, it does not mean that my tribe will survive undivided. That brings me home. Thank you, Softskin. I owe you an explanation of our situation now, at the very least. I'm not going to be able to keep the voice going. Please tell me more about what's going on. Since before I was a hatchling, our tribe lived in the mighty fortress to the west of here. But then in recent days, the Sawagan came, bent on conquest, swimming up from the depths of the ocean. We tried our best to resist, but their forces were stronger and their magic was greater. We had to flee our home. <clears throat> Fortunately for us, we had somewhere to retreat to. This place, an old abandoned outpost of our people. Our retreat was humiliating. But I immediately began to organize a response to the invasion. After contacting several other tribes affected by the Swagden, ambassadors arrived here to discuss an alliance but the rebellion prevented me from speaking with them that certainly is news continue since you seem more capable I would make a proposal to you I would like to make a proposal to you it is this you and the town of Saltmarsh join with my tribe and an alliance against the Soagan invaders we may have other allies as well. Just before the High Shaman rebelled, I invited three ambassadors from other tribes here to negotiate. Perhaps together, we can convince them that if we all join together, we will be strong enough to fight the Soagan. Defeating the Soagan invasion is the best way to make sure Saltmarsh is left alone. Count me in. Splendid. Perhaps this is be it is best if you are the one to negotiate with the three ambassadors, they are somewhat leery of lizard folk due to our <laughs> culinary habits. You will find the ambassadors in the south in the southern ocean cave inside the eastern caverns. While in the eastern caverns, uh, so I also ask that you search for my second command, Subchief Irthos. I've not heard of him. Since the rebellion began, and I fear the worst, take care for the rebels still hold much of the eastern caverns. As far as I can tell, all the passageways out of here are sealed. I've sent some of my most trusted followers to clear the doorways. Any doorway that was sealed by the high shaman rebels is now open. 
Head to the Eastern Cavern, speak with the three ambassadors, find some Chief Irthos. Got it. A grateful Queen Ozilkin says that the Lizard Folk are willing to ally with Saltmarsh. But first, she asks two favors of you. Speak with the three ambassadors from other tribes and rescue the captured subchief Irthos. See, I'd rather say Irthos. Because saying ear toast makes it seem like you're going to eat some crispy ear toasted ears with butter. And I don't want to do that. That's just nasty. Want no ear toast? Why, thank you. You spot the spear crest on the table near a group of rebel officers. But the wave is blocked by a magical barrier. The rebel officer laughs and casts a spell that creates barriers. Quest of the Spia. Yeah, I don't know. Interestingly enough, I don't know if any of you follow the news too closely, but apparently the assassin that killed JF Gum, RFK, I think back in 1968, Sirhan Sirhan, has been released. He is going to be free. They have determined at 77 he is no longer a threat to society. So he will be going free if he's not free already. I thought that was um, interesting. There went the sub chief. You are free. Take a quick rest here. Hey, what's he eat? He's been in jail for about fifty years now. I really didn't think they would release people like that. I just never thought they would.
All righty. We're going to double back around here in a minute. Ambassadors from three different parts of the... All right, I'm going to do the elves first. Just in case. I'd love to see if they're going to... What's this? A Warforged? Not someone I was expecting to see here. It's been nothing but chaos since we arrived. Perhaps you can explain what's going on. What do you want? I've come on behalf of an alliance between the town of Saltmarsh and the Lizard Folk. Will you commit to joining us to fight the Soagan? So that's what this is all about. Certainly we Sea Elves are no friends of the Soagan, but we know the Sea Devils well enough to know Words will not win this war, only battle. I propose this fight. Fight me and my guards to show that Salt Marsh has capable warriors. And then I'll commit to joining your alliance in battle. A bold proposal. Let's do it. I yield, surface dweller. With you at our side, the alliance will surely be able to, to defeat the Soagan. On behalf of the Sea Elves, I pledge our support to your alliance. I'll inform the Lizard Folk Queen of your pledge. The Sea Elves support in the alliance. <laughs> it didn't glitch. It didn't glitch. They gone away. They gone away. Bye bye. I don't think I can do the bullywog. You here to speak, not fight? Ha! Huh. We Bullywogs see many things, strange things lately. You speaking now with Bullywog tribe diplomat. What you want? I am a representative of the newest alliance member, the town of Saltmarsh. I want to negotiate for your tribe's support on behalf of the alliance. Unexpected, yes, but before you tell me I should send our warriors to die, I explain. Compared to the Suwagan, our tribe not so big, not so strong. And how do we survive? We must be cunning. We must jump out of the way of danger. Sending our warriors against the Suwagan might destroy our tribe, even if your alliance succeeds. I have spoken. Now, what you have to say? Oh, what do I have? Diplomacy... Listen. Hango. How can I tell what my listen is? <gasps> nope. I ain't got nothing. Maybe you shouldn't join the alliance if you've got conditions or concerns. Others will fight everything they have to survive against the Soagan. With or without you. Negotiations with the Bullywog tribe. They not joined them. Screw them. <clears throat> Greetings, Warforged. I am one. I am called one that talks first. I am the ambassador of the Troglodyte tribe. I trust you bring better news. My hopes for the Alliance have dwindled since arriving here and seeing the sorry state of the Lizardfolk tribe. I'm here as a representative of the newest alliance member of the town of Saltmarsh. What can I do to convince you to join us? The first evening after our arrival, a soft-skinned thief took advantage of the chaos in the Lizardfolk tribe. He sneaked in and stole a carved bone necklace from me. If you were able to find the thief and retrieve my necklace, I would think about joining this alliance. My guards took some time to investigate the theft. You can speak with them for more information. I will do this for you as a sign of good faith that you'll join the alliance. The ambassador of the Troglodyte tribe has asked you to find his stolen I found evidence of someone fleeing the from the central barracks toward the southern barracks, but the tracks stopped shortly after leaving the central barracks. I could smell singed fabrics from a fire, but I could smell no wood or sea coal. Not a regular fire, then. Perhaps they have taken to hiding near a magical fire so the southern barracks to 
the northern barracks. Okay. Let's head back that way. It looks like this is going to be in a little different spot. I'll just have to work my way through. Nothing there. Oh, that's the shrine. Oh, no. Man, PD, that's the guy. Nope, finally. I, I thought it had glitched again. Thanks for making my escape easier by slaughtering all those lizard folks. Now you buzz off so I can plan my, can my retreat. Did you steal a carved bone necklace? You're working for them. I knew it. Got him. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look, and I got, I got another character that needs to go through Dolores. Yep, I need to get some boots of speed on this guy. Oh, there he is. One who talks first. Ah, you've returned my necklace to me. Good, good. If you're part of this alliance, not just the lizard folk, then maybe things are turning around. The Troglodyte tribe shall join you in an alliance against the Suaga. You've secured the Troglodyte's tribe support in the alliance. Alarm bells ring out from the Central Ocean Grotto as the lizard folk tribe. Here we go, defight, defight. I should have uh, let Kendra rest up first. Again with the out of ammo crap. Really? You mustn't get a thousand bolts anymore. What the hell? Uh, what a slot to be in. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you get a thousand. I must just be chewing through them like butter. Easy to find that sucker. 
speak with me once more. There's a matter we must discuss. You've done a great deal for both my tribe and our alliance today. Our gratitude and rewards are surely not enough, but it is all that we can give. It's all in a day's work for an adventurer. With the alliance secure and the Soagan encroaching more every day, we will have to act quickly. I will be planning an assault on their fortress as soon as possible. I'll be there to help when the time comes. Is there another? There is another matter we, can, we must discuss. I know how much you've helped my tribe, and yet it's our tribe's law that any who slay a tribe member must pay a weir gill, a fine. You have slain many of my tribe today. Rebels though they were, I personally would have considered your services rendered thus far as payment enough, but my sub-chief advises me that you must pay the Weir Guild to placate those remaining tribe members who sympathized with the rebellion. As queen of all the tribe, I must heed this advice, his advice, and not intervene. All right, what exactly is this Weir Guild then? Normally, a weir, weir guild is a fine, paid in coin. However, the sub-chief and I feel it would be more beneficial to the Alliance to have you perform a task of heroism as your due instead. Out in the marsh is a cavern where a particularly large crocodile has lived for many years. We would like you to kill it. It is forbidden for a tribe member to do so. Meet our representative outside the crocodile's lair and consult with him about the problem. Not a problem. Slaying beasts is what I do. <laughs> and I don't remember where this trial of knowledge was that. That is a sideline quest that I did not do. The last time. Hmm. I guess. No, oh, there's nothing here. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember what I was supposed to do for the trial of knowledge. I will have to just say to heck with it, and that will be it. Not going to worry about it today. Well, look, I'm going to go ahead and call it there for the evening. I appreciate everyone joining. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone has a good weekend. If you're down here in the southern U.S., I uh, hope you stay clear of the storm. Stay safe, stay dry, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all next Friday. Appreciate it. Have fun. Good night, everyone.